Okay, so to prepare for receiving, I suggest that you come into a relaxed, meditative posture. Close your eyes, relax your feet on the floor. You might even want to turn your palms up on your lap. <laughs> and take a nice full breath in through your nose and let it out your mouth. <sighs> and then do that again. And feel yourself coming down into your body. Let your consciousness come right around your heart center and then into your belly, down your legs, into the feet. Feel the floor underneath you. Hmm. And take another breath. And let yourself just be inside your skin fully, top to bottom, front to back. Notice that you don't have to do anything but be, but be present right now. Be present to your breath, to your heartbeat, to the sounds in the room, but also be present to the energy in the room to the love in the room. And let that vibration just dance around you, filling up the space between you, above you, in front of you. And as it dances and feels the joy and the love, in the presence of the one that honors humanity. The entourage and the love and the honoring of Kryon. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. For those here who have not seen this before, and there are many, as you look at this with your 3D consciousness, it may not be that which you expect. My partner will go into that which is the study of reality and probability. And I will say you don't know what you don't know and none of these things make any sense. If you come in with that which is the idea you know and have seen it all. I say this every time for those who are new, both listening and here. A human being sits in a chair. Seemingly with his consciousness and with his language and his voice, you hear messages from the other side. And for many, it's a stretch, a real stretch. For my partner, it was a stretch. For he was trained in that which was absolute. He was trained in, in a reality, in a box that was three-dimensional, and anything outside of what he was taught wasn't real. And so... In, in order to even reach you, any of you who've come in with that, we'll say the things we always say. Why are you here? Do you mean it? Perhaps there are those listening to this channeling for the first time in, a, in another time frame. I see you. I know the reality for you is what's happening at the time it's happening. Reality for us are potentials of you being there and you are listening and you are. I know you. I see you. I know what you're thinking. 
And you would say, how can you do this? Can you, can you really see into the future? And the answer is not really. We see the potentials that are circling around you before you ever sat down to listen to this. What caused it? We see it all. Because the potentials are our reality. We don't have a clock. Spirit's clock is energy. What happens with energy? What are the potentials around you that would bring you to this place right now, dear ones, to listen to this? Did you really plan it this way? Could it be, could it be that there is so much more to this planet, to this universe, to humans in general than you were ever told, ever told? And what would they be? And one of them is this, that there is a system, a beautiful system, that goes way beyond that which you've studied on this planet as reality. The system is of the creative source. It's not religious. It's not even spiritual. It simply is. It is the way things work. The system of God. You call it God. We call it creative source. God is a word that means so many things to so many people, including those who would have a judgmental God or, or a God who would punish you. That's not the creative source. That is a human invention of authority. No, the system is benevolent and beautiful, giving you tools every day to get beyond that which you were taught so you might think out of the box and have a little better idea, perhaps, of what is really going on. What really is going on is a shift in energy. So as you look around, whether you're here or you're listening, I ask you, are the things that were said today by the astrologer, Michelle, germane to what your life is going through or what you see on the planet and the answer is yes isn't it interesting that energy working a certain way will change reality that you think you were in control of on the planet all the things that are happening are different than before all of them all of them. It's whether we have the migrations of humans from place to place that you've never seen before for reasons you've never seen before, which was mentioned, or whether you will have things that are not normal and you wonder, why is the energy so strange today? Why is there so much darkness on the planet today? And we've explained that, and so did she. Darkness will fight for survival before it's about to die. She said it. I've said it. And that's what you're seeing. Oh, but there's more. Oh, there's a lot more. Let's talk about your country. You're about to have an election. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> And it doesn't matter on which side of the aisle politically you are, light worker. You've never seen anything like this, really, have you? <laughs> Not really. Why is everybody so mad? <laughs> Why is everybody so different than they normally are? Have you ever seen anything like this in your country before? Not like this. Not really. And you have to say, what is it that's different? We gave a phrase, we'll give it again. We've mentioned it over and over. You're reaching a time when there can be no more fence sitting. And we're not talking about politically. We're talking about energy. The high road or the low road. When you know better. When you see the things like compassion can actually change lives and yours and you see that 
uncompassionate things, what they do. You see the difference in their black and white more today than ever. Discernment is starting to increase in humanity. The kind of discernment, however, is not that which who is telling the truth. It's about energy. And it always will be. Who has integrity, who does not? Who do you want to lead your country based upon that discernment? That's all there is. There'll come a day, we've said it before, there'll come a day when your elections are far different, when somebody realizes that the biggest thing a candidate could have to win an election would be honesty and integrity and not hate and not just how much they can insult their partners. You hear me? And it's going to be a big discovery, and you're going to see it start to work in odd ways. The discovery from those who market and decide things <laughs> will say, what a difference. Look, we can get this person elected if they're honest and have integrity, and they never have to say a bad word about anybody else. They're standing alone with something that is discerned for the first time, not as truth, but energy. Dear ones, this is on the way. But in the process of on the way, you got to learn it. We told you it was coming. We said, stand by. For things you don't understand, perhaps for things which are dramatic, perhaps for things you didn't expect, all part of a growth cycle of humanity at this time, in this new energy, that will turn everything upside down. Now, here's what I want to tell you. Humans don't like change. You just don't like it. And it happens because there is part of you that is simply built for survival. When you find the place that you're safe, you want to stay there, period, no matter what. And you will scratch and fight to stay in the safe place. There will be others who will come and say, look, if you would just get out of this shell and go over here, you may find something nicer and better. You might have more joy, more comfort. And you say, no, I am safe here. I know this place. I don't know the other place. Therefore, therefore, therefore. And when you put that into a grand scale, you've got societies, you've got parties that are political, you've got all of these kinds of things that find their safe place and fight to stay there. And suddenly we're telling you that the safest place you think you have may crumble in order to get you up and moving to find out what God source really has for you. I'm talking to people who are listening to this right now who needed to hear that. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Whatever it is, you can pull it to you. Did you know that? Fear is that way. If you'll take light out of your life, fear will come right in. There's this giant light you can turn on from the creative source, which is beautiful and all-encompassing and marvelous. And all around it, there are hundreds of fears just waiting to pounce if you turn off the light. Did you hear that? You turn off the light, and it's all will be there. This is about energy. It always has been. It's about duality. It always has been. Everything in the planet is about duality. It always has been. The energies of what we have called dark and light have always been there. And in this shift for the first time in human history, light is winning. And that is because consciousness is starting to see it. You don't have to be a light worker to see light. There will be revelations within humans in general and we have called this before that will look upon who you are and say the human race will never ever go to war again 
because that's what children did in the playground when they threw rocks at each other and were grown up. We may not agree, but we're not going to kill each other. How far away is that going to be? That's up to you. That's free choice. That's free choice. But you know, we see it coming. We see it coming here. We've seen it in other societies, on other places. Call it what it is. Other planets have gone through what you're going through now. The process is the same. Doesn't happen easy. Where do you stand? Are you afraid of it? Or will you look at it for what it is? It's something you ask for for years. It's something you have created and hoped for for years. You've sung songs about peace on earth, goodwill to men. You've called on your masters and prayed for peace on earth. All of these things, you've held vigils, you've lit candles, auditoriums filled with thousands giving prayer for peace on earth. And dear ones, it's coming. And what is your reaction? I'm afraid. <laughs> Not happening the way we thought. No, it isn't. But it's happening. The army of light workers that is you is needed to get out of fear, to stand up, understand that the things that are happening right now, both personally and planetarily, are correct and proper and will bring about change from old souls like you. If you do nothing, then nothing will happen. We'll be back to talk about it later. And so it is.